Hello, this is Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com and I wanted to show you the software I use to record my computer screen with sound for free. Now when I make my Adobe Audition tutorials, I always use the paid Camtasia for Mac, far more advanced features. But when I need to quickly put something together for business purposes to send to maybe one or two people, I always use the free software Jing from TechSmith. It's fantastic and easy and you don't have to worry about uploading to YouTube. There it is in the top right, a little sunshine icon. And when I want to start recording video, I'll just click this icon here and you get the crosshairs. You can either select your whole screen or you can select a portion of the screen. So for this purpose, I'll just select the multi-track editor in Adobe Audition. Then you've got options down the bottom left. You can capture an image and just send it straight off or you can capture a video. So that's what I'm going to do by clicking this icon. And my mic is on, it's ready to go. I can start recording, I can move things around, show what I need to show, and when I'm finished, just click the stop button here. I can give the video a name down here, so I'll just call it multi-track. And then, very easy to share, you just click this button here, share via screencast.com. When I click that, you'll see in the top right, it's uploading to a service owned by TechSmith called screencast.com, there it goes. As soon as that's done, it will copy the link to my clipboard so I can simply drag over an email here, hit Command V on my Mac to paste, and there it is, there's the link. If you open that in a new browser window now, you'll see that the video is uploaded and ready to play. Just hit the play button and there's your tutorial. I can start recording, I can move things around, show what I need to show, and when I'm finished, just click the stop button here. Really easy to get started, and if you want to get Jing to improve your business workflow, just click the link in the description to this video. Oh, and as a quick bonus to this video, just wanted to show you how you can add annotations such as arrows and boxes to screen captures. Just go back into that icon there at the top right, select the part of the screen you want to capture, hit capture an image, and then you'll be able to add in your own arrows and boxes as well.